Welcome to Previously On, a podcast series created to help you through some of the most complex yet brilliant television ever made. Game of Thrones, Season 7, Episode 1, Dragonstone. In the twins, a surprisingly alive Walder Frey has gathered his whole family together for a feast. He has wine poured for all of them for a toast and smiles as they drink, choke blood and collapse. Walder Frey pulls off his face to reveal Arya Stark. When people ask what happened, she tells the young and innocent Lady Frey who she spared. Tell them winter came for House Frey. In the north, a cold mist rises, followed by the army of the dead led by the White Walkers. Dolorous Ed, now Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, is suspicious when Bran and Mira reach the wall, but Bran uses his powers to convince him. Warning of the coming Whites, they're taken through the wall. King Jon Snow tells his lords they desperately need Dragonglass if they're to defeat the White Walkers. He also forgives the heirs of his traitors, despite the advice of Sansa. A message from Cersei demanding John bend the knee is another source of friction. Sansa wants him to be smarter, but obviously this is quite hard because Jon Snow, as we all know, knows nothing. Jaime tells Cersei they need to make allies if they're to defeat an approaching Daenerys. And with perfect timing, Euron Greyjoy swaggers into the throne room to suggest a marriage to Cersei. She declines because he's a habit of killing his allies, but he leaves promising to return with a priceless gift. Sam is stacking books, scrubbing chamber pots and serving food at the Citadel and is training to be a maester. He asks Archmaester Ebrose for the right to read the text held in the lock section of the library. Ebrose turns him down, even after hearing about the threat of the White Walkers. Littlefinger tries to exploit the conflict between Jon Snow and Sansa, but she ignores him. Brienne wonders why Sansa lets Littlefinger whisper in her ear and is told how Stark still needs the Knights of the Vale. Arya stumbles upon a group of Lannister soldiers, one of whom bears an uncanny resemblance to Ed Sheeran. Where once she would have murdered them, she finds they're just boys far from home and lets them live. She clearly hadn't heard Galway Girl. The Hound and the Brotherhood without banners take shelter from the snow in a farmhouse. Inside are the bodies of the farmer and daughter, the hound robbed way back in season four. He was right, they didn't survive the winter. The hounds are given a vision in the fire of the army of the dead and later digs graves for them out of guilt. Sam discovers from his stolen book that there's a mountain of dragonglass under Dragonstone and sends a message to Jon Snow. A man in a cell of the Citadel asks Sam if Daenerys has landed in Westeros yet. It is Sir Jorah, and his grayscale is looking pretty grim. Daenerys lands on Dragonstone with her forces. Pulling down Stannis' banners, she asks Tyrion if they're ready to begin. Thanks for listening. Hope it's been helpful. Listen, if you've enjoyed this, I would love it if you subscribed. We've got loads more shows where this came from, and we'd love you to join us for them. If you know someone who needs to get up to speed with Thrones, just send them our way. A five-star review wherever you get your podcasts from would also be absolutely fantastic. If you've got any feedback, if I pronounced the name wrong, I hope I haven't. Or ideas for a show that we should be covering. We'll almost certainly be doing the big ones, but you never know. There may be others that we've missed. Let us know. I'd love to hear from you over on Twitter. You can find us at Previous Podcast or just email us hello at previouslyon.co.uk. Previously On is presented by Jamie East and is a Daft Doris production. Mm-hmm.